Hey, what's up? Pizza Living Nerd here. So this might be the last episode of Alternative Ways to Install Arch, mainly because I think I went through all of the basic easy ones. So if you have a suggestion that I've missed in the series, please comment it down. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Zen Installer in order to uh, install Arch. Now, this is the only installer that I found for Arch that has a graphical user interface, so this will be interesting. Anyways, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we are going to want to do is uh, go to, is just uh, look up Zen Installer. And here it is, so it's on Source Forage. Now we're going to go to Files, and then we're going to choose the latest ISO for Zen Installer. So this, I think, is J June uh, 22nd was when this was updated. And now your download will start. So, yeah. Okay, so once you boot into it, it will ask you to connect to a network. So you would do it through this network icon. Uh, and then click Yes. So I've already connected through Ethernet, so I'm going to click Yes. And then it takes a while after that for some reason. Now asks whether or not you want to connect to a VPN before you install start the install process. I'd pick no because it might make it slower and you don't really need a VPN for installing something. Alright, now we're going to choose whether to do automatic or manual partitioning. I'm going to do automatic. And then select your disk. And then uh, set warning it will erase your disk, so hit yes. And now it's creating your partitions. Okay, so now you're going to select your country code for mirrors. Uh, now, I do, if you're super close to a country like me, I'm pretty close to Canada, so I typically use Canadian mirrors instead of US mirrors, because they're usually faster. So I'm going to select Canadian mirrors. Now select your wool Kyle, ENUS is default. Now uh, choose your keyboard model. Uh, so hit yes, and then from here you can choose your keyboard model. Now, uh, I'm just going to pick cancel and use the default. Now select your uh, country code for your keyboard layout. I'm US. And it will ask if you'd like to change your variant. You can choose yes if you want, however you, do, you don't have to. So I'm not. Now uh, it asks, did you see your key map in any of the options above? I don't know what that means, so uh, when I picked no, it gave me a list of key maps. However, if, if you pick less, I think it just uses the default one, so yeah. Now select your time zone. Then I'd select UTC unless you're dual booting. Uh, choose a host name. Choose a username. Enter in your password. Then enter in your password for your user, not root. Okay, now select your shell. I recommend bash or fish. Then select your kernel. LTS if you want it to be more stable. Uh, hardened if you want more security. And uh, Zen is supposed to be the best for everyday systems. However, I'm going to do the normal one. So now asks if you'd like the revenge repo. Uh, now, if you want a peer arch instance, I wouldn't recommend this. So like no. However, if you want some convenient stuff, hit yes. Now I'll ask you if you want to install a bunch of stuff. Um, then choose your display manager. I'm going to choose light DM. Or actually, I'm going to choose default. And then choose your desktop. I'm going to do... You, it's got GNOME, GNOME Extra, Plasma, Plasma with KDE applications, uh, XFCE, XFCE with XFCE goodies, LXTE, LXQT, Mate, Mate with Mate Extra, Budgie, Cinnamon, Deepin, Deepin with Deepin Extra, Enlightenment, JWM, i3 Window Manager with i3 Walk and i3 Status, i3 Gaps with i3 Status and i3 Walk, Open box with Tint 2 and open box themes, and there's even more window managers to choose. Now, uh, I did try Budgie earlier, however, when I booted into Budgie, it just had a black screen. So I'm going to do XFCE4. And you can choose if you want Firefox, and you can choose extra stuff. You can choose if you want Library Office. I'm going to do Fresh, and you can choose extra stuff. Now, if you want to, you can choose extra applications. So you, there's internet applications, there's a bunch of browsers and stuff. There's media applications, which have video editing, editors, and uh, just players too, stuff like that. We got office stuff, if you need any of it. 
office things. We got utilities. And we got finished. So, now it will ask if you'd like to install the bootloader. I must select yes. Select the hard drive that you're putting your system on. And uh, if you want OS Prober, select yes. If you don't want it, select no. And now uh, hit yes to begin the installation. So from here it will set everything up for you. Okay, so once the install's finished, select OK and then reboot. Okay, so now we got a nice crisp install of Arch. And as you can see, we got XFCE working here. So, yeah. So Zen Installer is actually probably my new favorite way of installing Arch, although Budgie is broken. If your desktop works properly, it is super easy to install, and it's it's just a great way to install Arch. It's probably by far one of the easiest ways to install Arch too. And having the option to add that repo to get uh make it even more convenient while using Arch is pretty nice. Anyways, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.